Classy fedora dudes never said milady. What the f And why do they have katanas? <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally a science. Go ahead and look it up. <laughs> Thanks so much. Today we're jumping into r slash nice guys. I thought about doing r slash trashy, had a post picked out, had the thumbnail made and everything. And then I decided to shift gears because, you know, Trashy might be far too visual. It's kind of doomed for failure. So why not do another nice guys? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this actually turned out kind of interesting because I basically went into the subreddit, searched up movies and everything in, in this episode, all these posts have a movie theming, which I think is pretty cool. Um, either, you know, the post or someone in the comments mentioned movies, I guess. Reddit search function is kind of broken, but we'll just have to see how it goes. So let's go ahead, we'll get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some of this r slash nice guys a cringe. Even Shrek gets lots of trim, lol. If you had a troll Shrek, a literal ogre, overlord Farquaad, a short guy with money. <laughs> uh, congratulations, you have completely missed the point of Shrek. It has nothing to do with the personality. Lord Farquaad had money. Why you don't pick him? It's just because he's short, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, the dude sticking his face on there. My god, that is just the cherry on the cake, isn't it? <laughs> it's horrifying. Please, total neckbeard status right here. Chuck Daddy Cohoots 5150. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. That's all I really have to say. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and try and explain Shrek to you. Watch the movie again. That is, if your caveman brain is even capable of absorbing the message. I mean, kids get what Shrek is about, right? This guy's just refusing to get the point on purpose, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so here's my beef with this movie. My guy over here risks his life, gets publicly humiliated by the whole town, kills his father figure, almost loses friends, just to give the girl away to the next man. <laughs> Other guy's not even royalty. Nah, I ain't having it. I need a remake where Quasimodo ends up with Esmeralda. You know, that would go absolutely horrible. Again, you've missed kind of the whole point of the movie. This one, admittedly, is a bit more nuanced than Shrek. I have seen normal people ask why Quasimodo didn't end up with Esmeralda. And I'm going to tell you this right now. It's because Quasimodo basically worships Esmeralda. It's the first person, aside from his mother, that has ever been nice to him. And so he doesn't see her as, like, an equal. He thinks that she is far greater than he is. And, yeah, he's got to work on himself before he can actually try and get into a relationship. Phoebus, I think that's the other guy's name, gets with Esmeralda because Esmeralda recognizes that he's, you know, brave and, and protects her from guards and also sees her as a person, as an equal. Quasimodo Esmeralda relationship, that is just destined for failure. You can't have one partner groveling at the feet of the other because it's it's supposed to be an equal partnership. <laughs> if you do make that remake, then I hope it just ends in tragedy. You have to sit back and watch as Quasimodo and Esmeralda's relationship crashes and burns. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, the movie is not really upfront about all of that, but that's the way that I see it, at the very least. Yeah, practically stalking a girl, red button. Accepting a girl doesn't like them, blue button. Nice guys. Yeah, hit that red button. <laughs> and the Jim Carrey face basically sums it up, doesn't it? Yes, every time they hit the red button, that's kind of what makes them nice guys, isn't it? Or maybe he just likes the color red. You see, his jacket's the color red. I mean, I like the color red too, but I read the labels on the buttons. I know I can't push that one. 
<laughs> make a girl's life a living hell for my own possible sexual gratification. Nah, <laughs> you go ahead and miss me with all of that. I don't even care. Audience review on We Need to Do Something 2021, which is a movie that I haven't seen, but let's see what this guy thinks about it. <laughs> Feminism. <laughs> Uh, oh, great start. Should have just left it with that one word. <laughs> no, seriously, once again, and as always, feminism. <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> I am so incredibly sick of seeing the father figure, the man of the house, portrayed as the weak one who loses his shit under pressure while the mother keeps everything together. <laughs> uh, hello, reality check, please. Yeah, hi, this is reality calling. I'm sure that they have it right, at least in, in this one case scenario. Sure, there's households where the dad keeps it together better than the mother, but there's also households that are quite the flip reverse, you know? But yeah, I guess it's just easier to, to paint the whole thing. Yeah, it's feminism. That's the whole problem with this movie. <laughs> that is the opposite of what would happen in most cases. Yeah, this guy's actually observed every single family on the planet. His his research is <laughs> quite in depth. Uh, hopefully he'll publish a paper on it soon. I don't care what anyone says. This is deliberate and full of bitterness by angry women writers or beta males who bow to them like most movie nowadays. <laughs> uh... Yeah, let's go ahead, look up the writing cast. The majority of writers in Hollywood are men. But oh yeah, they're they're all beta male men. <laughs> These beta orbiter writers. I'm sure I could pull out a hundred counterpoints, but um, you're not gonna listen anyway, so why should I bother? <laughs> it's too bad. Because the movie could have been all right. <laughs> See, he liked it. Except for the fact that the dad was the weaker character. Oh, boo-hoo! <laughs> Honestly, I think that I'm the weaker character in our family. My wife is the one holding it together most of the time. I, like, disconnect and go hide a lot of the time. And she's, like, in the shit <laughs> way more than I am. So, yeah. If we wrote a story about uh, the biography of Red X, I'm sure this guy would just blame feminism. He'd be like, meh. <laughs> That's what it is. Like, no, dude. This is what actually happens in my home, okay? I do my bit, I try to pull my weight, but I have no illusions that she does much more than I do for this house. Anyways, <laughs> once again, angry women had to ruin another movie. <laughs> I've lost count at this point. It's been non-stop for at least a handful of years now. <laughs> Uh, oh, I mean, Hollywood admittedly is really bad at writing women characters. Either they turn out like super despicable or they're basically just writing a man with a vagina. And that is because a lot of Hollywood <laughs> doesn't have women writers out there that can give that female perspective. Perhaps this movie went too far the other way uh, with trying to give a female perspective. I'm not really sure, but if we are pinning Hollywood as like the pinnacle of artistic direction, then yeah, we got way bigger problems. <laughs> uh, basically, everything that Hollywood pushes out is complete schlock. Watch some independent films and your mind just might be blown. Uh, men are strong and bold and handle problems that women can't. And that's just a fact. It's not totally science. <laughs> Don't bother to look it up. We're different in a beautiful way. And there's nothing wrong with that. See, now he's backpedaling just a little bit. He's like, yeah, uh, but we all have our own strengths. I'm just not going to list any of the strengths that I see women having, right? <laughs> Your argument is fucking weak, son. 
But for some reason, these Femmies just can't handle that. They cringe at the thought of it. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something cringe here, but I don't know if it's the, uh, the Femmies. <laughs> it's actually kind of a nice name, right? It sounds like a fairy or something like that. So they write these terrible movies and shows, and therein they feel some sort of <laughs> false sense of power. An outlet, I suppose. God. <laughs> that is so ironic. Uh, isn't that the reason that you sat down to write this whole review? An outlet, so you might feel some sense of power against those accursed femmies, right? <laughs> Uh, that is juicy. I really like that. Keep going. <laughs> Too bad no one with any common sense falls for it. Heh. <laughs> Listen, I understand that a lot of these women writers probably need help from past traumas. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro, they're the ones that need help for sure. <laughs> Uh, why don't you tell me about some of your past traumas, OP? Like I asked you way at the beginning, uh, who hurt you? <laughs> uh, there is something not balanced about this fellow, and yeah, I could tell from one sentence in. <laughs> but at the end of the day, seeking therapy is more than likely vastly superior to writing scripts that bash men constantly. <laughs> Seek help instead of attacking the opposite gender. <laughs> uh, there he goes again. Three sentences, three ironic statements in a row. Boy, he's on a roll. <laughs> You don't attack the opposite gender. Only I do. <laughs> yeah, okay, bro. <laughs> Whatever you gotta tell yourself, I guess. Jesus. <laughs> and hold some accountability for your own faults while you're at it. <laughs> uh, oh, God. You're really showing your whole ass here. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. I'm absolutely shocked that 14 people decided to find this helpful. What is this? IMDB? That other one that uh, keeps sending me spam emails? They're like, hey, review some movies. It's like a social media. I'm like, yeah, it's what I use Twitter for. <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> uh, uh, it's really tough to decide where to even start with this one. Okay, yes, Hollywood has a problem portraying women in particular, but Hollywood has a hard time portraying real life <laughs> in any significant way. I don't think I would put too much investment into this movie. It seems like this dude has a complex and he's just like looking for a weak man in a movie so he can attack it and be like, oh, this is from feminism. Well, let's go the opposite way, how about, and say that maybe having a weak man in a movie is fine. Maybe men showing emotion is not such a bad thing after all. Maybe we could let the women take the lead every once in a while. Would that be all right? Or does that just make me a, a crazy feminist weirdo? <laughs> Which I don't even identify with that tag. I'm an egalitarian, all right? Equal rights for all. And that includes men being able to show emotion without being called a gay lord or whatever. <laughs> and the only emotion this guy displays is angry because that's uh, one of the only socially acceptable emotions that, that men can portray, right? See a guy in a movie panicking while under pressure? Yeah, that's feminism. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb as hell, bro. Get some therapy. It's not a bad thing, like he tries to spin it. <laughs> therapy could definitely help out quite a bit. Or, you know, whatever, just keep writing angry reviews on the internet that nobody's gonna read. <laughs> That's fine, too. <laughs> it's mostly because in these guys' experience, the men that the women he is interested in don't choose nice. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.
Uh, nice is not a trait. Nice is the baseline of human existence as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure I've gone over this point before, <laughs> but anytime somebody points out that they're nice, I see it distinctly as like, you have nothing better to offer, but, but the very bare minimum. <laughs> I won't beat you or cheat on you. Wow, what a print. <laughs> uh, come on, dude. Do better. I've known women who actively get with guys they know are going to cheat because they cheated on their ex with them. <laughs> or they have a long-standing history of cheating. Or regularly beat people up or are violent felons. Women often don't have a baseline of nice. <laughs> uh, are you really talking down that much? Women don't know what a nice person is? Bro, babies know what a nice person is. <laughs> uh, this is dumb as hell. I will agree that uh, if somebody cheated on their partner with you, then inevitably they're going to cheat on you in the future. And sometimes people talk themselves through like, yeah, that definitely won't happen to me because we're in love this time. Nah, it's, it's gonna happen. Matter of time. But I definitely don't agree with uh, them going out and purposely finding cheaters and felons. <laughs> I think that's just something that you tell yourself so you can try and hang something over basically anybody's head. Eh, and that's not just 90s movies. I know P points out because, you know, in 90s movies, there's always a jerk who's in with the girl and the guy is in the friend zone. Uh, that's real life. And I can provide hundreds of examples from my own life. Yes, this mountain of anecdotal evidence shall surely prove my case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but there's no control in this experiment, right? You're the only person that is involved. We don't have like another person who is out there reporting the same thing. I mean, we do have uh, a subreddit full of nice guys, but there's also just as many people who will contradict what you're trying to say, myself being one of them, my audience being another 20,000 or so. So, uh, <laughs> take those hundreds of examples and shove them. Your evidence is weak. <laughs> I would like to argue. I have intentionally been an asshole to a chick that I had been into for a few years, and it works better than just being me. <laughs> uh, probably because you're so deep I into a-hole mode that once you add a little more a-hole, it turns back into a, a base or whatever. Acid plus acid makes a base? Is that how it works? I don't remember. I don't think that's true. It works in math, though. Negative and negative is positive. <laughs> so let's go with that. Uh, we're just picking facts to fit with our, our viewpoint, right? I'm just doing this to keep up with OP, okay? <laughs> it doesn't feel right, so I stopped. But my point stands. <laughs> oh, now he's got some morals coming out. I didn't want to be mean the whole time, even though it totally does work. <laughs> Bro, if you're this desperate and it worked, I don't think you would ever even consider stopping. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind and asked them out here and there, and they said they weren't ready. Maybe another time. The common, I'm not interested. All right, so if you know that that is what she's actually trying to say, then just walk away. <laughs> Why you gotta keep asking like the answer's gonna magically change? Uh, once I asked simply by saying, You know what? You're a bitch. I'm an a-hole and we're both bad people. Wanna go eat out Monday? <laughs> and their response was simply along the lines of, Did you really just insult me then ask me out? And I was like, Yeah, so want to? And she was like, ah, Sure, why not? Yeah. This totally happened 100%. <laughs> uh, and then everybody stood up and clapped at the end, right? <laughs> no! You really think people would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? <laughs> you really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? Uh, 
You don't ask people out by calling them a bitch. <laughs> That's pretty basic. Honestly, this dude's game is just sad. He's got to make up stories about himself to feel better. <laughs> I, there's no likes. I don't think anybody's actually believing it. So yes, I would like to argue that they enjoy people being a-holes and I honestly can't possibly understand why. It didn't happen. Stop telling lies and convincing yourself that this is the case because it's not. I mean, maybe in a, a few very specific scenarios where the girl was abused or, you know, seeking male attention because she's neglected. But any healthy woman with self-esteem <laughs> is going to throw that line right back in your face. Hey, lol, what a great way to put this. You should be a teacher or something, my guy. Please, no. <laughs> Uh, don't do it ever. I don't even know where this conversation is going. Now they're replying to somebody else, but we missed the replies. All right, whatever. That's just your assumption. Just because you feel like they're only being nice to you to get something doesn't mean that that's what they're doing. Oftentimes you only feel that way because the nice guy gets fed up and he stops being nice to you specifically and that is entirely down to hurt feelings. Not because they were only being nice to get something. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't said something they didn't actually mean in the heat of emotional turmoil? <laughs> emotional turmoil. Yeah, that's gonna hold up in court. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Jesus, dude. This is all just your excuse to be a shitty person, isn't it? Like, your argument tears itself apart. Okay, you're being nice to this person specifically, and then you get fed up and stop. Why did you get fed up? Because you were expecting something, no? <laughs> uh, what an idiot. Can't even form an argument correctly. Get this shit out of here. I think we got one more to go. <laughs> What else do you expect your refrigerator to do? What? <laughs> hey, is your fridge running? <laughs> Better go catch it! <laughs> I miss prank phone calls, man. My point is, why have high expectations of men and, just as she said, women shouldn't be expected to do? <laughs> If this guy is ever a teacher, I'm gonna throw myself off a bridge. Education is over at that point for everybody. I'm canceling it. <laughs> Change yourself to be more attractive to men. <laughs> How about you change yourself to be more attractive to uh, basically anybody? I'm not even into dudes romantically, but as far as this guy just existing, we could never be friends. <laughs> I'd hang out with you once and hear this spiel and be like, oh, that's what it's about. Okay, ghosted. <laughs> if I didn't date a big girl because I think she's fat, then I would hear about it. But yet, most of you are arguing that a man must make himself more appealing. Huh. I, I can tell why this guy is like so insulted by that line of thought, right? <laughs> because he's tried to make himself more appealing, but he just can't because the ugliness is on the inside. We are breaking this one down hardcore. It didn't have much to do with movies, but hey, <laughs> there's a good lesson, a good moral at the gooey chocolate center. Uh, if that's true, then I don't want a fat chick. <laughs> Uh, she should diet and work out before she tries to date. You know, actually try to make herself appealing. Uh. I mean, if you're not into big girls, that's fine. Me either, really. But some people out there are. You can see down to the center and that they're a good person, somebody that you actually want to hang out with. Because really, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Do you have a personality that I can vibe with for an extended period? The fat chick? I don't know. Never say never. <laughs> I've dated big girls in the past. This guy, though, absolutely not. <laughs> He's got the worst mindset ever.
And again, can't even really formulate an argument. And he's still got people gassing up like, you should be a teacher, bro. <laughs> uh, what's he gonna teach? How to fail at life 101? Living in your mom's basement 102? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a nobody. Comments warrior. I completely guarantee it. <laughs> Do you hear how cringe that sounds? Nice isn't the baseline because most men aren't nice. <laughs> but this guy is, for sure. <laughs> uh, those stupid bitches. If they just looked down in the comments, they could see all the nice men that are just waiting to abuse. I mean... Take care of them. And by take care of them, I mean give them a set of cement shoes. Meh. <laughs> I'm going to see you under the Brooklyn Bridge, dame. Meh. <laughs> uh, uh, so when you find one that is, recognize it. Or get fucked and meet someone like me. Bro, comments warrior right at the end. God. I love when I call it. <laughs> he thinks he's so hardcore. Couple likes, people out here gassing him up. I guarantee you he liked his own comment. <laughs> uh, maybe they'll put it even higher if I like it. No, actually the algorithm counts that against you. And yes, there is an algorithm for YouTube comments as well. Isn't that interesting? I refuse to believe that anybody ever told this dude lesbian t He's logging in on two accounts, right? That has to be it. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, if this guy ever met somebody that believed he should be a teacher, then that person definitely needs to get taught, but not by this guy. You know what I'm saying? Am I going around in circles? All right, whatever. I'm done with this shit. Fucking melted my brain anyways. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh my God, it's still going. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm done. This is the last one, right? For real? No, it's not. Jesus Christ. All right, buckle down. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> you say this, but more times than not, the girl goes with the a-hole that she even knows isn't good for her. No. <laughs> Just no. Agreed, but from what I've seen, the reason a lot of not all these guys are upset is because the people women are choosing instead are just jerks who don't even hit that baseline. <laughs> I don't know, just something I've noticed. Just another piece of my anecdotal evidence that you should definitely take to heart. What is the baseline? Who was out there judging the baseline? This guy? <laughs> I think it's been well established that his critical thinking faculties are not up to par. Am I right? Ugh, I'm rushing through this because I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> There's a difference between I was nice, so give me sex now, and I will actually be a decent boyfriend to you, but you keep picking shitty men while simultaneously complaining about there being no good men out there. Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good God. Which is an entirely valid criticism of women, to be honest. Based on his completely anecdotal evidence, remember. Too many women will pick shitty men because they value fun and spontaneity over reliability and respectful treatment. Yeah, this guy has been so respectful towards women, talking down, insisting that they don't know what's good for them, etc., etc. <laughs> uh, like I said, he can't even form one coherent thought, and it's driving me insane. Uh, and then they blame men as a whole for the crappy men that these women pick. And then they poop all over the very men calling them out. Oh god, that's over. Good. Hey, get it away! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, they blame men as a whole. While he's over here blaming women as a whole. <laughs> uh, God damn it, dude. For a little while, it can be fun. But when there is no reprieve from the stupid, God help me. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Oh, I am so grateful that is over with. <laughs> Please, let's never do that again. This dude definitely needs some help, but it's gonna take a bit more introspection before he even realizes that he needs it.
which is sort of sad, but also, you can't save them all, so, <laughs> good luck, fucko. <laughs> <laughs> hey. At uh, midnight 37 on December 31st, what a way to try and ring in the new year, huh? <laughs> With a creep in the DMs. Hey. Um, I seem to have lost somewhere to put my cub. Uh, can I leave it on you? Uh, what happened? Your coom sock got too dirty and disgusting and shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> Lost some... What are you talking about, dude? Go shoot it directly into the toilet where it belongs. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Your seeds is worthless, fam. One sentence and I can tell you that. Uh, I think you should keep it, says OP. <laughs> I have too much to keep. <laughs> what? It's leaking out or something? <laughs> uh, that seems like a medical issue. I can't help you with that. OP says, yeah, I can believe that. Can't imagine that a lot of girls would let you near them with that approach. <laughs> <laughs> it's all building up. Yeah, that's because you're a fucking creep, dude. <laughs> that's a good response. <sighs> that by far is the best answer I've gotten. <laughs> this was actually a joke. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Do you know what a joke is? It's usually a setup and a punchline, right? This dude, just a walking punchline. <laughs> I guess his life was the setup. <laughs> and he is the punchline. But nobody gets it. <laughs> Especially not him. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I love objectifying women. What a laugh. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, this exchange is killing me. <laughs> <sighs> Wasn't sent you women. <laughs> it was sent to guys as well. <sighs> You've blocked this account. Tom Maz is his name. Don't go look him up, please. Let's be honest. Account probably banned already anyways. Sliding into people's DMs. Creeping hard like this, man. Your joke it wasn't even close to funny. <laughs> the fact that you sent it to guys as well as girls also doesn't make it better. Like, it's okay, I'm a bisexual. <laughs> okay, then you're still a creep, just a bisexual creep, right? <laughs> he dumb as hell, boy. I can't believe he ever thought that this was going to work. I also can't believe that OP actually responded. The hey? <laughs> no response. The coom? Yeah, that deserves a response, apparently. At that point, you know he's a creep. Just block him. Or you're trying to farm some content for r slash nice guys, I guess. Which I do appreciate. <laughs> this doesn't have too much uh, nice guy stuff in it. Nice guy usually requires, like, a comparison with other dudes, you know? This is more uh, creepy PMs or something like that. Still gonna leave it in the video. I already read it. Whatever, moving on. <laughs> OP presents a very valid question. How come nice guys say m'lady, but they wear fedoras? If you're saying m'lady, you should be wearing tights and a neck ruffle. <laughs> God, I would love that. Don't give them any ideas, please. <laughs> if you're wearing a fedora, you should be saying stuff like, see here, and dame. Oh, I did that earlier in the video. That's one of my favorite voices. You gotta talk like Muggsy, meh. <laughs> Classy fedora dudes never said m'lady. What the fuck? And why do they have katanas? <laughs>
God damn it, dude. I've never seen it put this way, but yeah. You called it out 100%. The horrifying thing is that this bastardization of five different time periods will be the legacy that our time period leaves in history. Uh, I'm depressed now. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they'll find Red X videos in the far-flung future and be like, okay, they weren't all like this. Thank God. <laughs> but you know, with as much time as neckbeards spend on the internet, I think a lot of the internet will be consumed by neckbeards in at least some form or fashion. We gotta do our part. I'm out here doing my part every day. If you go out there and share the video, I would massively appreciate that. And then the the, the future scientists, presuming that humanity didn't die completely, uh, might have more evidence or something like that. Whatever I gotta tell myself, please share the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this seems to be uh, in the same accent that I was just using. Hope you acquire the appropriate licensing from Warner Brothers, meh, beforehand, or otherwise they'll shut you down. Faster than a woman turning down a nice guy they're always complaining about that they always want and reject to have, see? <laughs> uh, good God. This is possibly the worst metaphor. <laughs> Uh, I've seen some reaches before, bro, but this is another level. <laughs> Way to insert your own personal viewpoint, <laughs> which is completely wrong and stupid. A few people did like it, which is horrifying, but there's also some laughing emojis, which uh, gives me hope for humanity. <laughs> At least we have him quarantined to Facebook. Good. You just stay there. I mean, Red X does have a Facebook page, but that's only so we could try and spread it to the normies a little bit easier, you know? Warn them about the coming neckbeard wave. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, are you okay? What movies do you like to watch? Hey, hey Ro... <laughs> This is not good already. <laughs> Why are you texting five times in a row? Please stop. Uh, hey, Rose, my phone's about to die, okay? I'll talk to you when I get home, okay? Love you. And then just like endless hearts, blue and white hearts. I don't understand. Obviously, she's not interested that your phone is about to die if she hasn't responded to your last three messages, right? <laughs> Just cool it out. But instead of cooling out at all, he drops the L-bomb. Like, that's gonna <laughs> drag her back in. No, dude, that is gonna send her running 100%. I mean, depending how long you've been dating, it can't have been that long if you're still talking about what movies you guys like to watch. This will be a trash fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I like movies that are underwater. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> uh, I usually don't come after the OPs of these, but movies that are underwater? <laughs> So you don't like water world, right? There's a lot of water, but most of it is like on top of the water. <laughs> what the hell is a movie that is underwater? I was expecting like drama, comedy, <laughs> horror. <laughs> no, specifically underwater movies. <laughs> I'm so dead, dude. <laughs> Please stop. Uh, hey, never mind. Forget the last message I sent you. I said it too soon. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> I said it was gonna be a trash fire, but I didn't know. <laughs> Just how much of a trash fire it would be. <laughs> Hey, good night! And then the, the sleepy Z's emoji and some more of those fucking hearts. 
<laughs> I like how he realizes he dropped the ball after she's clearly already seen the message. I don't know what this is. Can you unsend? Hurry up, unsend it, Jason. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not gonna go well. Although maybe she's not too bright either. Asking about the favorite movies, and she's like, the underwater movie. <laughs> Uh, maybe you guys are a match made in heaven. I don't really know. <laughs> and then he sent a meme. Hey, I just want to tell you that I'm in love with you. Blocked. Oh, sad boy. Oh, no. He said it too early, just like me. I better tell her that I didn't mean it. Get off of TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go interact with another human being and see how it goes. I can count the number of times that TikTok has actually been helpful to me on two fingers, I guess. There's some cool tips and tricks and stuff out there, but there is also a lot of shit that you gotta sort through. <laughs> Just abject garbage, uh, pedophiles creeping on little girls and ugh. Can we bomb TikTok? Would that be okay? I thought about making a TikTok account for Red X, but then I saw the ad rates that they pay for that. Get out of here. <laughs> I can't do it. Never. Not worth my time or energy. Uh, that's why I hate showing emotions. Yeah. This TikTok, that's totally my life. <laughs> uh, Jason, stop. <laughs> You're not making it better. <laughs> Uh, uh, because it's something that happens 24 7 to me if you want to give up on me you can i ain't special see here goes the sad boy vibes oh you better just walk away oh, i'm so pitiable and then she'll run back and be like no you're not pitiable i can fix you because that's definitely the person that you want to date you. Started out with pity, and that relationship is gonna last forever. Kinda like the Quasimodo thing from earlier. Yeah, this isn't movie-based either. I'm gonna find one more movie-based one before we wrap this video. <laughs> it's getting long already. Uh, I know you're probably asleep, but when you see this, don't feel bad. I screw everything up. No girl wants me. This is how long I've been single. <laughs> From and including June 3rd, 2016 to and including February 27th, 2022. Maybe you take a hint, bro. Maybe you realize that this is because you're sabotaging your own relationships. You aren't ready. You need to learn to love yourself a bit more before you can offer love to anybody else. You know what I'm saying? This chick 100% did ghost him, came over, posted him up on r slash nice guys. <laughs> Which is probably the greatest insult of all, but I don't know. He kind of deserves it. I hope it can serve as a wake-up call to him. I really don't know why you would tell somebody that you love them, like, while you're still getting to know each other's. Hey, hey, what movies do you like? I love you. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> You probably did have a chance, but you just blew it all up because you wanted to move too fast because you were trying to cling on to something and, you know, find a way to really get her invested. But the way to get her invested is to be yourself, talk it out, find things in common and relate on that instead of just this notion of maybe love <laughs> for this person that I don't even know. When you're really in love, you will know it 100%, but <laughs> I think you guys got to like see each other in person and stuff before before starting to drop the L bomb. I don't know, man. I still got hope for you, Jason, but it's waning. So <laughs> if you could turn it around, uh, that would be great. <laughs> Thanks in advance, buddy. <laughs> oh my God, Jason is still going. <laughs> I thought that was the end. Okay. I know girls want to be around happy, confident guys with a future, but I'm just a failure. Bruh. <laughs> I said everything that I got to say. We're just going to roll through it. It's fine. <laughs> Nothing about me makes me special. I'm just a disappointment to human existence. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Uh, pump the brakes, bro! Holy hell! <laughs> uh, really, I am. Uh, this is how I feel. Uh, they hurt me so bad to the point where I'm so negative to myself. To the point where it's normal. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't know if I can fix this. Take the advice that I gave you before I found out that this was the last page and and double it. <laughs> and don't call me in the morning. <laughs> He's not going to call me in the morning. He's just going to text me that he loves me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. When people say I look handsome, it's a lie. When people say they love me but never prove it through actions and not words, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I like how OP is just like 100% out at this point. <laughs> no response, no nothing. Just like, holy shit. I really opened something up for you here. Take it to your therapist because you don't really pay me enough. <laughs> uh, I honestly don't care about my life anymore. But this is a sign of me I'm afraid to show because people look at me as a monster. <laughs> this has been a battle since eight years old. Oh, since he was a little baby boy, come on. You could pick him up and fix him, right? It's your job to fix him. <laughs> he loves you, so now it's your job to fix him. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I love you, Rose. And a rose emoji. Good. <laughs> But this part of me where I would never be happy. And it's not because of you or your family. It's me. Good night once again. Also, I love you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> no, he didn't say the last part. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Jason, Jason, Jason. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know what else I really got for you, but... uh. You need some help, man. Getting into a relationship is not the way to sort through all this stuff. I would seriously suggest getting into therapy, uh, uncovering why you do feel this way. And then maybe you can get some tools and steps on how to fix it, become more confident in yourself, and then you will be worthy of a relationship. Because right now, it's just gonna be that poor girl trying to fix you while you lay down on the floor and go, oh, I'm not worthy of anything. <laughs> <laughs> and, th and that is a horrible dynamic. I've been in it before, and trust me, it's not the way that you want to go. So yes, a little bit of soul searching would do you well before you try and get into a relationship. Go around dropping the L-bomb on unsuspecting strangers. Stop it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Please don't. Uh, I am glad that this is over, though. <laughs> These long posts are really taking it out of me today. Oh, you're in her DMs. She's in my suicide note. We are not the same. Oh, good. Now we're looping it back around the movies. This is, you gotta bookend it, you see? <laughs> That's how the theming goes for these videos. I mean, this is, this is a terrifying thing to post. I hope that this was made ironically. Even then, it's not a very good joke. I fear that it wasn't made ironically. <laughs> Uh, I don't think uh, Patrick Bateman ever cared about anybody enough to kill himself over them. So probably not the character that you want to use. But hopefully you would just never have these thoughts. Ever. That's horrifying. <laughs> Please stop. Get me off the ride, bro. And actually I could do that by pretty easily by just clicking the, the little X up there. So yes, uh, the world is probably a better place with you in it. Please don't do it, etc. I <laughs> seems kind of heartless, but it is what it is. <laughs> I don't have the fortitude to deal with that right now. I've already doled out all my advice for Jason and uh, explaining <laughs> the plot of Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> uh, our last one is this movie that 
I probably do need to watch. See, it's called Danny Doom. Whoa. And then Danny's a nice guy, but he's not always Danny. Sometimes he's a guy with color contacts and a bandana on his head that's not in any particular gang color. <laughs> and a tattoo on his face that says Bebel. <laughs> Maybe it's Bebe L. I don't know. Yeah, he just gets a neck tattoo and now he's a super hardcore dude. I'd be interested to see what the movie's about. The rating on Rotten Tomatoes is like a 3 out of 10. So, yeah, it could be something that we could look into relatively soon. I, perhaps I'll suggest it to my boys over on The Ruiners. We did Zero Charisma, that neckbeard movie, so why not Danny Doom, the nice guy movie? And I'm sure all of us are going to hate it and, uh... Yeah, I, I love a dumpster fire, so good. Cue it up. <laughs> this is what we're doing next. Oh, yeah. If you look like the guy on the left, you're definitely a nice guy and nothing's wrong with you. If you look like the guy on the right, oh, you better watch out. <laughs> Yet another example of how Hollywood gets absolutely everything wrong. Again, I bring up the Skeletor meme. Hippies are bad people to pretending to be nice. Punk rockers are nice people pretending to be bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. I can tell you the one redeeming quality about this movie is that it's 84 minutes. <laughs> uh, they couldn't even stretch it to 90. They're just like, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking movie's over. <laughs> Uh, I'm really interested. I'm I'm writing a note to myself, and I'm going to watch Danny Doom at some point in the future. I don't know if it's going to be on this channel or or with the Ruiners boys, but I'm quite interested in this nice guy movie after this nice guy movie episode. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you like, comment, and or subscribe. Very, very appreciated, especially if you share the video around. I did ask you to do it like in the middle of the video, but now I'm reminding you, if you said, hey, that's a good idea, but I want to finish the video first, right? <laughs> God. Uh, uh, I, I also hope you'll check out the links in the description. Plugs, playlists, podcasts. Yes, we're still doing podcasts, although less frequently these days, because sometimes I, I forget, I'm, I'm very busy. But I'll make sure that I get another one out tonight for you guys. We've also got my social medias, of course. Twitter, Discord, Facebook. Oh, and Patreon. My gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons. Whom I would like to thank so jerry, jerry much. Uh, so thank you. Classic Trash Panda. Robin Alouette. Camille Sarah. Roxanne Wolf. Sip Jerry. Conrad Ingy. Moe Wire Jerry. Hey, I'm Mr. Red X. Sir, the landlord Jerry sent Big Rick and Tony to my house. What should I do? Take a bite out of his face. Get the clown, Jerry. Hock, hock. Destiny Piper, Aaron Jerry, Twisted Child, Broken Logic, Esteban, for a blank sign. I rarely feels unwanted, but keeps fighting anyways. You can do it. Silent Revolver, the original Jerry, 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 Irish pirate, the Jerry's are always after me, lucky charms. <laughs> Irradiated jam, Ingy nuts, just fashion bro, a pimp named J. Chris, JM Coon, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Knight, Jerry Evil, Jerry Outlaw, Mother Trucker, Hong Kong, Jerry's Buick Riviera, John Hero, John Jerry, Jingle Heimer Schmidt, KJW, Kajow, Crewy, Landlord Jerry, there he is. He's right collection escapades to get more expensive than the rooms. May need to increase the rate. Nah, nah, we rate controlled around here. <laughs> Legit Bigger, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry O, like and subscribe. <laughs> Miss Lady Nix, Bell Guy Destroyer, Metal Factor, hi all, get nervous. I'm gonna have to sell my Red XTs if Teddy Coins and Marbles don't stop dropping. You think I'm not gonna sell these thumbnails as an NFT? <laughs> This is very low overhead, very high profit margin. But I don't think I'll do it because people hate me. Anyways, <laughs> Nightmare Jerry. <laughs> okay, Steve hit Jerry with a bag of balls at the kitchen, cheating with Tom, Paragon Soul, Fate of the Pines, Jerry Kinsen, Jerry Beth, Ramtide Lacrimates, Rose, Jerry Miller, T.S.N. Kirby, Sarita, the Lolita, Sassy Octopus, Sa, Scarlet Kevin, Sajid, Gay Cop, Bringer of the Law, Silo Whip, Staples, aka Jerry Yeet, Stephanie Gunner, Sign Empty Broomstick, Brilliant Tamago, Tabio, Gabalu, Tato Fair, Ten Ton Monster, The Italian Greyhound, Dino, The Little Sue, The Marble Jerry, No Substitutions. Okay, maybe one substitution because they will all go over there one time, but that's it. Uh, what you fussy? Try to find another bomb to get back to the real world. Uh, you probably don't want to blow into that balloon, not. <laughs> <laughs> Unbusy B, V3 Prime, Vanguard Angel, Viking Jerry, Wiki Tech, Will Mags, Zephyr the Gargoyle, or Clay. A Netflix block my path. I'll deal with it. Comrade Mooney, Kira, not another Jerry. Redwind, not my side Jerry, the Cyborg, Safe Blessing, Third Stuff. One leg Jerry is stumped. Get it? <laughs> Adoma Jerry, did anyone see Landlord Jerry? He took my honey mussy and mumbled something about squeezing some rent money. I don't know nothing, just pay. <laughs> Hunter Jerry, the Power Ball thinks Stacey and his Tom. Admiral T Tank, Amber Alder, another stupid hipster. Atomic Jerry, <laughs> Jerry Silla, Babsy Coon, Bartender Kaylee, Broken Spine Horseradish, Cake Jerry, the original different Jerry. California Jerry Girl, Chevron Seven Lock, Corporal Admiral, Princess Furry, Burberry Woo Jerry, so like that. Crypt Titties, Degrazy, aka STI Jerry, Defon Jerry, Creator of Colorful Click Clack, Dopamine Dang Jerry is, Electrical Fetic, Ghost of Alpha, Hignot, HMT Mayor, sorry I can't clap no more, my hands is too hurty. <laughs>
<laughs> oh no, I'm dying inside now. Holy berry, Jerry. Janet and Jerry is here to clean out your coin account. <laughs> All 10 cents of it. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jerry Old Rivera. Jerry and Tom versus Happy New Year's with the apocalypse. Jerry the Sussy Baca. Jerry's mom has got it going on. Check out the mustache on Jerry Old Rivera. Jerry Roxers. Jerry role playing game. Judge Jerry and Executioner. Keaton Tails. Kid Marvelous. King Tom. Kids again. Life of Guardian. Little Princess Jerry. I should have never raped the doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> Little Edwards, Lucia Lovecraft, M M Machia, CD. Maybe next time if I get Miss Duchess, not a Miss Rapture. She's my Jerry Pie, Snarry, aka Snom, Jerry, Spoony the Rogue, Spoopy Scary, Jerry Ton, Techno Dubs, the original Jerry, not the X Card, to Infinite Jerry, and beyond. We on the way. Tuna Fish Jerry, unfortunately, this Jerry is using the forbidden word. No! <laughs> Tom Promise, Jay Swiss, oh, don't pay Jay! Tom, you can board Swiss, just facts, slice. Though I look it up, and by it, I mean another Reddit's video. Thanks so much. And thank you, of course, to my $1 patrons as well. Thank you, as always, to my wonderful patrons out here supporting, moving the channel forward. I owe you guys so very, very much. If anybody else wants to sign up on the Patreon, that would be hugely appreciative, but if you can't do it right now, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there, wash your hands, but also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today. Maybe like, uh, watching some more Red X videos. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Also, don't be a nice guy. I enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one, and until then, friends, bye-bye. Uh,